Led Zeppelin would have been nothing without Jimmy Page's legendary blistering riffs. He led the band into the annals of rock and roll history with his superior sonic senses bridging the gap between rock and metal, dictating the future of the global rock industry with some incredible offerings over their career. Whole Lot of Love, Stairway to Heaven, Black Dog, the songs all contributing to their powerhouse of a back catalogue. Some of their songs were also proper sh** though. A according to Jimmy Page, Hi, I'm Adam, welcome back to Music Mongoose, and we start with not one song, but an entire album that Page loathes, In Through the Outdoor. Released in 1979, this served as their final studio album before disbanding after the untimely death of their drummer, John Bonham. You might have thought Jimmy Page would look back on this album fondly. One last hurrah before they called it quits, but no, hates it. This album, unlike the others, was creatively dominated by John Paul Jones and, to an extent, Robert Plant. In 1993, Page told Guitar World that he and John Bonham had already started discussing plans for a hard-driving rock album to follow the release of Presence, an album he describes as an electric guitar album. However, with Jones and Plant in the driving seat for the album, Page and Bonham felt like two little silly gooseberries. With Bonham passing away in 1980, that hard-driving rock album would never come to fruition. Instead, their final album would be one that Page describes as a little soft. All My Love is one song in particular from that album that Page no likey. Interestingly, it's one of only two Led Zeppelin songs that Page had nothing to do in terms of writing. And no cheating, can you guess the other one? Put it in the comments below. The song reflects a decidedly more tender side of the band, written about the tragic passing of Plant's son, and critically it was well received, being cited as the saddest and most heartfelt Zeppelin song and a perfect ode to Plant's son. Plant himself would later call it one of Led Zeppelin's finest moments. Jimmy Page, however, and John Bonham weren't fans of the soft rock style. In a later interview, Page said, I could just imagine people doing the wave and all of that. And I thought, that is not us, that is not us. However, of course, Page didn't want it to come off the album because it meant so much to Robert Plant. So it turns out Page does have a human heart, which is good to know. Live In Loving Maid, She's Just a Woman is another track that rubs Page the wrong way. It's also one of the songs that the band never played live. This song undeniably features one of the best riffs of all time, and it sits on one of the best albums of all time, the band's second offering. While musically and technically the track is stunning, lyrically it's a teeny bit misogynistic, isn't it? Or is it? Opinions below, please. The song was written about a groupie who used to follow the band in their early career, and although Page never said explicitly the reason for disliking the track, this would be the most logical explanation, his embarrassment of the misogyny, and it could possibly explain why they never played it live. Do you agree with Page that these are Led Zeppelin's worst songs? Let me know in the comments below. And check the video on screen for the Beatles songs that John Lennon hated the most. And I'll catch you next time on Music Mongoose. Right, if you've made it this far without switching to another video, then at least subscribe to my channel. Thanks.